holding on a cigarette He's in the skies deep in the dark And in a mix he knows the mark Oh my goodness, it's a whiteout. Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the Juicy Vapor channel. Today, we're doing a review of the uh, G-Priv by Schmoke. Yes, by Schmoke Tech. Yes! Alright, so normally what I would do when I get a piece of new equipment is I would do a unboxing, not necessarily a review. Um, in this case, I'm giving a shout out to my local go-to store, AAA Straight Vapes, with two locations in the 254 area code, one in Belton, one in Killeen. Um, all right, so as we all know, when uh, a reviewer gets too much equipment and needs to do some spring cleaning, um, what I did was I took some of my toys down uh, to AAA Straight Vapes in the in the uh, Belton location, and um, what I did was I turned in a bunch of uh, my machines that I only did an unboxing and maybe used a few times. Uh, and I wanted to get a big boy toy that's going into my local daily rotation. That means something that I'll be using daily. I rotate my rigs so that none of the, uh, uh, the, none of the coils or machines get overworked. Uh, so basically, and also I have different flavors and different machines. So I took and did some spring cleaning, went on down there, and you know what they do? They give you credit for what you turn in, and you can use it there on the same day that you turn in whatever you want to turn in. They'll give you a dollar amount, and you will get uh, credit for whatever you turned in, and you can get something here. Uh, in my case, the rig was gently used. Um, it was hardly used at all. It's real clean and it works real good. And uh, again, I got the uh, the uh, G Priv by Schmoke, and I also got a uh, a TF V8 tank, and that has the RBA in it. So I'm not doing a review on the tank, but I got it all in one right there. I turned in enough toys that it was a nice even swap. So. That's my little plug for you guys. If you have some toys that you want to do some spring cleaning on, go on down there to AAA Straight Vapes, uh, either location, Belton or Colleen. By the way, I'll put their information down below. I'll also put their link for online. Uh, so for the people that are not in the 254 area code, you can still order this rig. They sell the G-Prib down there. Um, and you can get your kit. You can order it online, whatever. Or you can go into one of their locations. All right, so... Um, I'll also put what comes in the kit down below, so if you're ordering a new kit, that will be down below too, as well as the uh, tech specs. I'm going to go ahead and put that down below, and what I'm going to do is just do a real, clean, uh, uh, a real quick overall review of this machine, so that for some people that might think they want to get this, but are kind of on the margin there, hopefully this will help you out to make a decision for yourself. All right, and again, I said I was, I turned in some of the uh, toys that I did reviews on, maybe used once or twice because they weren't uh, my normal everyday thing. Not that they're not good machines. They were very good machines, but they're just not in my daily rotation. All right, so let's get on it, shall we? But wait a minute, pause for station identification break, you know. Oh, yeah. All right. First thing I want to say about the G-Priv is that it's a true te uh, touch screen. It's awesome. So here we go. It has the uh, classical five hit the fire button, and that'll turn it on. If you do that, when you're ready to turn it off, you just hit the five clicks again, and it'll turn the machine on. Uh, off, I'm sorry. So you can see right there the screen. Let's see if I can get a little better up over here. I apologize. Maybe the light might be a little too bright. Um, but anyway, there it is. All right, so the first thing we want to do is I want to get into the settings. So I'm going to hit right here. There's a little arrow, okay? Boom. Now we're in, oops. 
Yeah, I tend to hit the buttons a lot with my big old hands. Now we're in the settings mode. Up here, I use I use the uh, okay. I use. Let's get back to that screen. If you don't touch the screen for so many seconds, it'll revert back. I use the wattage mode, so I'm going to hit it right there. Um, and there you can see, hold up, if I pull it back a little bit, um, it gives me everything uh, in the, the volt or wattage mode. Uh, what I do is, in that screen, you can see where you can change the wattage mode. You can change the power that it outputs from minimum to soft to normal to above normal. See, it didn't, uh, it timed out on that screen. Getting back into the wattage mode, uh, you can change the wattage, the strength, everything else. I have it set on 150 watts on normal. All right. Man, I wish I had a little bit better view on this. You can also go into the settings mode, which is down to your lower uh, left or right, pardon me. And you can change a lot of other stuff. Now, I want to bring to your attention. If we get my last mo out here, you can see that screen. Now, it's not a true test touch screen. There's an app that you download, and you change all the settings on your phone or tablet. The difference here on this G Prib by Schmotech is that it really is a true touch screen. So if I go to that arrow right there, right there, see, it changed. Now we're going to go into the settings mode, and you could do all your settings there from model to touchscreen timeout time, factory reset. If you think that everything's good to go, look up in your lower right, or yeah, up over here. You can see that it's showing two batteries running in series. The other thing that I like about this is um, the, the, the age priv which is not behind me. Okay, the H priv is, uh, it doesn't have rechargeable. Neither does this Lassimo. You have to take, oops. You have to take the batteries out. Well, with the G priv, down below, there's a USB down there. All right. So you could charge with your batteries in. So there's an improvement there. Um, Make sure I wipe off any little excess here. All right. So you can charge this with the um, batteries already in. Let's see if there's anything else. You can change to the TC mode if you like temperature control. Uh, you can do. You can adjust the max puffs and all that stuff. It's a really cool, really cool machine. Um, let's see if there's anything I'm missing. I apologize. You're going to just have to trust me for it because I know that this is not showing up in the screen. Uh, oh, by the way, you could do USB to the computer and it'll upgrade uh, for you. You can change the screen timeout. I'm going to do that right now so that we're not running out of. So I'm going to do touch screen timeout and we're going to just increase that a little bit. I'm going to go to 20 seconds. Boom, that should allow me and my big fingers a little more time. I'm hoping you're catching this now. Gives you maybe a little bit more. All right. So I'm going to get back to the usage mode. Uh, I have the, um, the uh, RBA deck in there. So I did put a little bit of juice in there just so that uh, it would get that wick soaking. So let's kind of show you what a puff puff looks like, huh? All right, I'm getting just a little bit of juice in there. Okay. We are using the E-Juice Buddy by Vape Dogs. Just so you know, it's a punch and mango mix which I like all them tropical flavors and fruit. All right. So now we're going to just go ahead and get back uh, 
By the way, you can program time and date and all that stuff on here too. And again, I'll put the tech specs down below. I, I just didn't want to keep you guys forever and a day going through this thing because it's pretty extensive. It really is. Um, okay, so now what we're going to do is, uh, I guess on my big thumbs, accidentally uh, change to the wattage mode. So we're going to go ahead and just get that back up here. There we go. Set it back on 150 watts. I typically like instead of doing instead of doing the um, temperature mode, I like wattage. Just my thing. All right, back on 150 watts. Let's go ahead and fire this bad boy up. Uh, let me make sure I'm sitting back over here. Um, I hope you guys like the layout. One camera up here. You're seeing my pantry behind me. And then uh, instead of flipping over to the version of the camera going down, I've, I've got this on a split screen so you can see both at the same time. Okay, here we go. We're going to fire it up. Ready? Yummy. Mmm. As you can see, it puts out some vapor. Baby! Mmm. Yes. Let's see if I can get a little bit. Well, all right, you get the picture. I'm going to set this screen timeout back to 10 seconds. So we'll go put that back on. I'll go in the middle and go 15 seconds because I'm just not that fast with it. Okay. Even tells you the model number and everything right up in there. Okay, now it's back to 150 watts. Oh, mmm, that's good. It puts out a nice, robust uh, vape. It really does. Again, I'm using the TF uh, V8 with the RBA deck on there. Uh, I'm trying to do that with most of my rotation machines simply because, uh, you know, if you get into a situation, especially being a reviewer, and, you know, every time I change flavors, I have to change the wick. Uh, it's just simply because I'm. OCD and so it's just easier for me to change the wick myself and gently rinse and quickly dry uh, the RBA decks each time uh, just makes it much more easy for me um, you know what uh, this unit here is so good and again it's true touch screen you can touch the touch screen I will sh share with you this I'm one of those guys that are OCD with like my computer screens and my, my t uh, smartphone and, and these kind of things. So I do put the little wrapper, or not wrapper, but the, the screen covers on them uh, simply because that way I'm not getting any nicks or dings or little scratches or, uh, you know, fingerprints all over the place. So um, I did put that and then just gently covered it right on there. Uh, you know, hey, again, folks, the G-Prib by Smoke Tech. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, the cheap crib, yeah, by Smoke Tech. Um, go out and get this. You know, it's very cool. Uh, if you want something that meets your everyday use and puts out some good flavor and all that good stuff, this is a machine you might want to check out. Do yourself a favor. Go check it out. So, meanwhile, let's uh, go ahead and get out of here, uh, you know, in typical fashion, shall we? Uh, maybe one more. Later. I'm pulling on a cigarette. He's in the skies deep in the dark. And in a mix, he knows the mark.